guilty on gun charges. Earlier today, a federal judge ruled it was suspected cop killer Devon Lyman who had a gun in that traffic stop the night officer Daniel Webster was murdered. But whether he's actually guilty of murder is something a different court will have to decide. News 13's Marissa Lucero is here with what's next. Marissa. Kim Lyman's federal public defender told us today after the hearing that this two day bench trial was, quote, an abbreviated version of what we can expect in the state murder trial. Devon Lyman wasn't standing trial for Officer Daniel Webster's death, but for being a felon with a gun last October when the officer was shot and killed. According to Lyman's attorney, pleading guilty was not an option in this case like it was in his other, because an admission of guilt would have been an admission that he murdered Officer Webster. Mr. Lyman could not plead guilty. Uh, here and we were forced to go to trial. And it's the same 40 caliber pistol prosecutors stressed he used to kill the officer. It would be admitting an element of the critical uh, state case. Lyman, a convicted felon, is accused of shooting and killing Officer Webster after investigators say he pulled Lyman over because his plates didn't match the motorcycle he was on. Today, a judge found Lyman guilty of being a felon in possession of a gun. The story of why it was a perfect storm and how things got to be the way they were that night is a story for another day in another courthouse. This week's trial focused on a lot of evidence that state prosecutors will most likely present in that other courthouse. It included video from Officer Webster's lapel camera of the shooting and testimony from the teenager who police say was on the back of the motorcycle with Lyman. Officer Webster's widow spoke with us after the judge read the verdict. She said she's pleased with today's outcome, but says it's far from over. And this is a difficult time, and I'm still asking that the public and the press give my family and myself the privacy that we need in order to proceed with what's coming ahead because we have a long road ahead. Lyman faces up to 10 years at sentencing. He's also facing another 50 years for another federal conviction on gun and drug charges. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thank you, Marissa. Now, Attorney General Hector Balvetas and his office have put together a legal team to help build that murder case against Lyman. There is no timeline for those charges to be filed.